eyelashes come free so. here today. <laughs> here <laughs> like this is in general is is burlington dead or just this restaurant <laughs> it looks it I'm looks so confused a positive start hey everybody joel hansen here with my good friend miss stacy and we are in burlington to try what is undoubtedly the worst rated vietnamese restaurant specifically pho restaurant here in burlington and guess what the restaurant's called what that means so uh, we got some reviews to read, and honestly, I'm really scared for this. Yeah. This looks horrible. So I don't know. It just looks really dead. But I mean, okay, to be fair, it's raining. But like the restaurant's dead. dead. It just looks sketchy. It looks outdated. I think we could like get food poisoning. Oh, okay, so I'm on Yelp right now. So we're on Yelp. We got and a few reviews. Got, um, let's start with Kusi. Okay, so Kusi said. When here a few months ago, the pho was terrible and the sp spring rolls is a joke. Anyways, was craving for pho and didn't want to drive so uh, or order the delivery. I ordered rare beef pho and what I got was basically well done rubber meats. I also ordered fresh roll and for the first time from a Viet restaurant, the fresh roll was literally just cucumber and clear noodles. No tofu, it was terrible. See attached picture for the overcooked pho uh, beef pho. Never coming here again or ordering from here again. And here's a picture. I mean, in all reality, it does look pretty horrible. It looks pretty cooked. I have to. Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, it looks pretty. Dr it looks very dry, actually. Yeah, it's 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 yes, yeah. It's usually I, from my experience, they come in kind of pink. Um, yeah, like rare, right? Rare, but um, this is fully cooked. Right, let's see what Coco C says. Coco C says, "Oh my God, where do I begin? I apologize to the cow that was harmed by this." <gasps> I ordered the beef soup uh, with tenderloin, brisket, etc. without tripe. Oh my god, this soup tastes like soap water. That's not, a, <laughs> that's not a good sign. It is lacking the authentic pho flavor that people pay for. I can make better pho than that. Look at size of spring rolls. They were frozen out of box, soggy. Oh my god, I want my money back. Never felt like this ever in my life. Avoid at this place at all costs. That sounds really horrible, actually. I don't know if I still want to go. <laughs> and then there's some pictures. This is Danny H. I always love to try new Viet restaurants in the Burlington Halton region because I haven't found any places on par with the shops in downtown Toronto. I tried this place for dinner and it appears to be a nice family owned restaurant, small mom and pop shop. Ordered the grilled chicken, rice, and egg. It was something I could have made at home myself. It was a very bland and no distinct flavor. Chicken appeared to be pan fried and there was no grill slash charcoal flavor. My wife ordered the kanji. Mm. That came out, what came out was not edible. It was literally regular rice with some sort of soup broth poured over it. We were very disappointed with the food, but hope that it was just due to them, due, uh, due to the grand opening jitters. I don't know. So, uh, Stacey, you're Chinese, so what do you have to say about bad kanji? Uh, if it's true, that's not kanji. <laughs> yeah. You tell him, girl. This is a jazzy K. Mm. This is greasy and bland. I threw up most of my meal in the compost bin and went hungry. Ordered the clear noodle stir fry with vegetables plus tofu. There was very little mixed in with the noodles, just a few slivers of peppers and some shreds of tofu. I am so disappointed. I didn't choose somewhere else. The place was completely empty when I went in around the dinner hour. So that's, that's, the that's case. what's going on right now. So that sounds pretty horrible. And then I think we have a, a fake review here. This sounds <laughs> way too fake. From somebody named Thiaz D says, Healthy, fresh food and friendly staff. I'm bewildered by the bad reviews. I guess satisfied customers are less motivated to post review. Anyway, the fresh spring rolls were light and delicious. And their soups with noodles were delicious as well. The atmosphere is bright and simple. The staff is very kind and eager to have a friendly conversation. I recommend. Or maybe our friend was just a little lonely. But why do you put a quotation <laughs> marks for soups? I don't know. Maybe because they're pho? I don't know. Anyway, so uh, I guess we'll go see what the hell this thing tastes like. Mm -hmm. 
I'm uh, not really looking forward to this. So this is officially the worst <clears throat> Vietnamese or pho restaurant in Burlington. I have never seen a sign like that. Seriously, what kind of place is this? <laughs> yeah, and there's a, a math formula. Here's our, uh, our menu. Here's some appetizers. Here's the spring rolls people talking about for $4. Uh, what else do we have? Here's our pho. Oh, focus. There you go. So pho is like eight bucks. That's not horrible. Here's the kanji. Right at the bottom. There you go, kanji. Kanji is a Chinese thing. Kanji with chicken. Kanji with duck. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Stir fries. I had duck eggs too. Duck eggs? Is of chicken or duck? Were they like a thousand year old duck eggs or chicken No, eggs? the fresh one. Oh, okay. They have milkshakes. I don't know how I feel about that. Hey, look, they have a durian milkshake. <gasps> Stacy, what do you think of durian? I think I want to try it. Where is that? It's <gasps> Should we try it? You like durian, don't you? I mean... She likes durian. You Stacey, like durian too. I, I do, but Stacy's one of those people that actually like durian. What do, you, what do you think of the smell of durian? Yummy. It's yummy, she says. It smells like feet. It doesn't, it doesn't taste bad, but it does smell like feet. We'll go get a durian after this as a... Alright. Oh, look, we have crispy egg noodle seafood. Oh, that's... I don't know why that's in the back of the menu there, other than that. I mean, tho style seafood with noodles. With soup or dry. Dry. That's yeah, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, well, let's figure out what we're gonna get and uh, let's order. Alright, so we're gonna go with a uh, pho. We're gonna do the rare beef and brisket. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna do a congee. Do you like chicken or duck? Let's go with... Oh, I don't want chicken with duck. <laughs> no? And we'll do the kanji with duck. Because duck should be more expensive than chicken, and I imagine it'll be horrible if it's going to be really horrible. So let's try it. So uh, Stacy is saying the way the kanji's on the menu, she can tell it's not like real oh, Chinese. Because there's only, there's only two options, and normally at a Chinese restaurant, it's, you see like a page or two full pages of options, usually with pork, fish, lobster. Oh wow! Like fancy one, yeah. Uh, aged um, duck eggs. Um, duck eggs. Mm -hmm. Like the black one, the fermented. Oh, like a thousand year old really duck good. eggs. Yeah, it's really good. That's good? It is good. How's that good? But their menu is only got two options. And it's just as congee with chicken and congee with duck. That's just not, you, you would never see it on a Chinese restaurant. You'd never see it at a Chinese restaurant. No. That's why it's a Vietnamese restaurant. Yeah, I think that's why it actually be now probably should not order kanji in a Vietnamese restaurant. But I guess we will find out and see what the heck this is like. I'm scared. <laughs> you should be. Alright, so we have all these little sauces here, but I literally picked this bottle. Oh, I can't even touch it. I picked the bottle up and it's, it's so sticky. Like, that's really nasty. Like, it's, <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on with that thing there and where that's been, but it's really sticky and that's... Oh, it is sticky. Yeah. It is sticky. It's crazy. Like, it's really, it's, that's interesting. I don't know. I don't even want to know. So uh, let's let's review the water. Stacy really likes the uh, the ice cubes. Yeah, because it looks like jellyfish like, swimming. Like jelly. Water. Water. No. Oh. All right. Well, I'm gonna taste it. it tastes like water. <laughs> so here's our add-ons. We had some uh, bean sprouts, which are notoriously known for E. coli poisoning. I hope mm -hmm. you know that. <laughs> What's this? I want to say peppermint. Peppermint? But it's, it smells minty. It smells minty? But it doesn't. I don't know. It's too big for peppermint. But it should be. Big. I don't think it smells like mint. I think it's peppermint. It's, it smells fresh. It smells, smell this one. You can smell peppermint. Oh, this yeah. doesn't smell like peppermint. So this is the kanji. And this is the pho. 
And Stacy says she's never seen such a small bowl. For eight bucks, she said this is really small. I mean, it is it is pretty small, let's be honest. And I have small hands. Oh, by the way, this is basil. It's, it's pretty funny. So, so Stacy asked the guy what, what the green was. And she's like, is this peppermint? He's like, um, it should be basil. Should be. So the kanji. Spoon out. What the heck is that? Oh, yeah. So it's small, is that it? Very small. If I look? paid the same price in a Chinese restaurant, it would have been like double the size. Okay. So, what, how does it look though? It's too watery. It's too watery. So it looks like they just, um, they didn't spend too much time cooking it. Normally it should be very, um, what's the word you use? Gelatin. Gelatin. Okay, let's try. Mm. The taste is not bad, um, but it's watery. It's watery. Yeah. Her her reaction, like she like, and for her to do that, I was like, that must be interesting. So let's try this. I, I don't even know. If, I'm not an expert, so let's see what this tastes like. But it just tastes like it's leftover rice from yeah. last night and water was added <laughs> to make it into congee. Really? <laughs> I like how you have the experience. I was going to say, it kind of tastes like chicken noodle soup. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Except this is duck. Let's try the duck. Apparently duck. I just had a piece, but it tasted like nothing. Usually duck is a flavor. That's a big piece of duck. Anyway, it kind of just tastes like, you know what it tastes like? Um, chicken rice It tastes like rice and chicken broth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. AKA like chicken noodle soup. No, I wouldn't, yeah. No, I wouldn't order this ever again. No? Not Let's see. I don't even know if this is like edible. Yeah, you would. It was a bone and very, very hot. Yeah, yeah. I just burnt my mouth. Oh, you got some water. Thanks, thanks, mom. I think they tried to kill me. <laughs> There's not even anything on that. There's just nothing, There's just nothing edible on it. I like duck, I just don't eat bones. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like, it doesn't taste bad, it's just, I think not. It's not kanji. Apparently it's not kanji. It's chicken rice. It's rice, rice, and chicken. So also the pieces of duck in this, it's not really like, uh, they're, they're not very meaty. I feel it's kind of on purpose because the bone is where the flavor is, right? I think they're just giving you bones. This is like, they're... You have to work. It's just ball. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a ball. <laughs> I'm not Chinese enough. Yeah, he's definitely not. I feel like bringing to Chinatown. Let's try the pho. I have hope, actually. You have hope? Mm -hmm. I'm excited. It looks pretty good. Um, it is small. I be honest. Um, we have all these additions. Yeah. Think it's gonna help? <laughs> You're just eating all the beans, bro. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, okay. let's try it. Should we take it? Let's do it. So observation from our pho expert here. She says the beef is very, very thick and it shouldn't be like cut so thick. Like, okay, this is supposed to be rare, the rare beef. Is this supposed to be the brisket? That's a brisket, yeah. But that's, that's not brisket though. It's not? What is it? Brisket, oh my goodness. I'm disappointed already. She's disappointed already. It should be, normally it should be bigger and like fattier. Oh yeah, yeah. like quality. Mm -hmm. Let's try this. No, this is too dry. Chewy. I didn't really get any meat in my bowl. I just got See, this is not noodles. Yeah. That didn't taste that bad. <laughs> no? Oh my god. The soup has no taste. Oh. <laughs> really? 
Not bad. What am I eating? What am I drinking? I don't know. I wouldn't come back here. Alright, let's try it. I don't... Let me try the soup, just the broth. Try it. It's not very authentic for sure. I mean, it tastes kind of like... I don't know, like... Like a, like a chicken, like I don't know, but chicken. It shouldn't be because this is not. No. It tastes just like something you probably get out like a can yeah, or a but bottle. Yeah, it should be like that. It should be very authentic and distinctive. It's like distinctive. Like what? How do you describe it? I can't describe, describe it? it, but I just know when I eat it. And it should, my beef shouldn't be like 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 this. It should be very thin and it should be spread out. Oh yeah. This is chunky. Chunks of beef. Yeah. Let's try the noodles. Just eat all the noodles. I mean, it tastes like rice noodles. <laughs> and you're making the sauce? Yeah, just to um, cover it up. Cover up the flavor? Yeah. You know what I think it tastes like? If there was a, a Campbell's, like, can version of pho, that's what it tastes like. Like a Campbell's can version of pho. It's just not a pho. It's not I mean, I'm no Vietnamese, but I've had enough to say that it's not. And I'm confused. Are they Chinese or are they Vietnamese? Because they, they messed up the kanji and then now they messed up the <laughs> And they actually just white. That, I take that offense. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just had a piece of beef and it really didn't taste, it tasted like old. Oh yeah, frozen, old. Yeah, frozen, old. Like, that wasn't very good. Like your leftover turkey dinner? <laughs> Week old leftover turkey dinner. I don't know, I don't like this. Somebody order skip the dishes from here. I'm not sure what they were thinking. I should check the reviews before. Basil leaf has black all over it. And it's like wilted, weeping, bad. Yeah, bad. That's not a good sign. Let's just throw that away. Yeah, you're supposed to buy it gently so we don't fight the bone. You see the red around the bone. Kanji, I don't think you're supposed to be able to drink it. Not a buy. Not a buy. Oh. Look what I just found. That's kind of nasty. Hey, what? Hey, is it eyelashes? That's an eyelash. Yeah, that uh, that might have just sealed it there, everybody. <laughs> Ate one of the chili peppers. I'm dying. It's spicy. All right. Not satisfied. Not satisfied. So final verdict: Is it worth a 1.5 out of five review? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Seriously, everything out of, like in there tasted like it came out of a can or like a prepackaged item. There's yeah. I don't think anything really authentic about that. No. Like the price is reasonable until um, the food came and it was so small. Like what the hell? Yeah, the sizes weren't that. The portions weren't that great, and it just it, yeah. It just it, it tasted like it came out of the, a can. Yeah, yeah. It, it was like literally rice floating in chicken broth that came out of like a carton. Yeah. And then the pho was noodles. Yeah. In again like broth with like mm -hmm. the tiniest oldest pieces of not great yeah. tasting beef and the rare beef um they weren't rare yeah um, it was not rare and they were like chunky um <laughs> also the beef brisket it's not beef brisket. i mean it is but it's not like it's not it's not it's just not <laughs> yeah so anyway uh final verdict it de i think it deserves a 1.5 out of 5. yeah like that's a 3 out of 10 yeah, yeah, it definitely deserves 3 out of 10. Yeah. That wasn't worth it. So I yeah. uh, would not recommend. Uh, it wasn't tasting very great. And uh, like you said, not very satisfying. Yeah. So, well, now you know. Don't go there. Don't go there. So, till next time, everybody.
All right, so here in the washroom, um, so the mirror, I can't know if you can tell, there's a lot of uh, water stains on it. Uh, I believe that, but I don't know what's up with this. That's like some pooling old, old, old dirty water. That's scary, and again, that's not just like a stain, that's actual water. I mean, the rest of the bathroom, although it looks so plain and it looks like you would maybe kill somebody in here, I mean, it's half respectable. Oh, that's... It's a lot of dirt on the wall, and right there, it's a lot of kind of dirt. I wonder if they locked somebody in here before. Anyway, there's a bathroom review.